Search for Dr. Panda. Yar, it's me, Pirate Longtail, and my trusty companion, Captain Greenshell. Yar! All I'm missing is my pirate hat. Hey, what's this? Oh, check it out. It's a treasure map. X marks the spot. There must be treasure buried there. Huh. Did someone say treasure? We, we found a treasure map. Awesome. Let's take a look together. Can you help us find the pirate treasure? Let's go. To get to the treasure, we need to follow this dotted line. In the center of the map is a compass. A compass tells which direction you need to go. On a compass, there are four directions. North, east, south, and west. The line starts at my house. The first stop is Richie's Pizzeria. Do you know in which direction we need to go first? North. Hey, yep. We need to go north to Richie's Pizzeria. Yeah, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's have another look at the map to see which way we need to go next. The line goes from here to Hoopa's Garage. Do you know which way we need to go to get there? North, east, south, or west? East. Yar! That's right, Captain Greenshell! Yar! <laughs> <laughs> Toto, you make an awesome pirate. The next stop on the dotted line is June's Beach Shop. Do you know which way we need to go? South. <laughs> That's right. We need to go south. Treasure. Oh, nice job, Captain Greenshell. We must be near the real treasure. Let's take one last look at the map. The X for the treasure is marked at this palm tree. So, which way do we need to go to get to it? West! That's right! Here we are. X marks the spot. I'll start digging. Treasure! Oh, cool! It's a pirate hat, just like the one I used to have. Hey, another treasure map. Awesome. Let's see what we can find next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, the smell of pumpkin pie is awesome. Yum, yum. There's nothing better than sharing a nice slice of pie with your friends on a sunny day. Hold on, Toto. We need to work out how we're going to share this pie between us. Share? Yep. Look here. Do you know how Toto and I can share this tasty pie equally between us? Awesome. Let's start with the shape of the pie. Do you know what shape the pie is? <laughs> That's right. It's a circle. A circle can be divided into many equal parts. But since it's just Toto and I, we can divide the pie into two equal parts. It sure is nice to share a piece of pie with your friends. Yay! Share! Share! Oh! Hi there, Mei Mei. Hi, Bip. Hey, Dr. P. That pie looks really good. Yep, it does. Share. Good idea, Toto. Let's share our pie with our friends. Cool, <sighs> thanks. But is there enough for all of us? Sure there oh. is. 
we'll just divide it into more equal parts. <laughs> that way, everyone can get a piece of the pie. Yeah, yeah. Cool! Do you know how we can divide this pie into four equal parts? That's right! We can divide the pie through the center again. So two equal parts become four equal parts. Now we have enough for everyone. Ah, it sure is nice to share a piece of pie with your friends. Yummy! Oh, hi there, Hoopa. Uh, would you like to share this piece of pie, Hoopa? <laughs> Do you think we can still divide this piece equally? Yes, we can. We just need to cut it straight down the middle. <laughs> yep. It sure is nice to share a piece of pie with your friends. Friends. Huh? Share. Sure, Toto. We can share this piece equally, too. Hmm. Let's see. If we cut this piece down the middle, we can still get two equal parts. There we go. A piece of pie for your friend, Toto. Oh, it sure looks delicious. More friends! Friends! Whoa, Toto has a lot of friends. It's okay, Toto. I can still share this piece of pie. But what about you, Dr. B? You won't have any pie left. No worries, Pip. I've just remembered something. I brought another pumpkin pie. That's enough pie for everybody. This looks like a nice shady spot for our picnic, guys. Cool, Dr. P. I sure am looking forward to my sandwich. Hmm. Yum! Wow, that is a big sandwich, Ziggy. <laughs> I've got more in my sandwich than Ziggy. <laughs> Looks like Ziggy has more in his sandwich now, Pip. Why don't we look at all the sandwiches and see who has less and who has more? <laughs> We all have sandwiches with cheese and tomato. Let's look at Toto's sandwich. <laughs> Toto's sandwich has two slices of bread and one slice of cheese. My sandwich has two slices of bread, two slices of cheese, and one slice of tomato. Bip's sandwich has two slices of bread, four slices of cheese, and two slices of tomato. Ziggy's sandwich has two slices of bread, six slices of cheese, and three slices of tomato. We all have the same number of slices of bread, but we each have different numbers of cheese slices and different numbers of tomato slices. Pip, Ziggy, and I all have more cheese in tomato than Toto. Mm -hmm. And Bip and Ziggy both have more cheese in tomato than I do. And Ziggy has more cheese and more tomato than Bip. So, I don't have more of everything in my sandwich? Nope, you have less than Ziggy. Did you know that there's a special way to write how much more or less you have? Huh? <laughs> I'll show you. Bip has four slices of cheese in his sandwich, and Ziggy has six. How many more slices of cheese does Ziggy have? Two. <laughs> you got it. And that means Bip has two less than Ziggy. <laughs> These special arrows mean more than and less than. So we can use them to write two tomatoes is less than five tomatoes. Or we can write four slices of tomatoes is more than one slice of tomato. 
So I don't get to eat the biggest sandwich? <laughs> nope. But your sandwich still looks awesome, Bip. <laughs> yeah. And there's something I definitely have more of than any of you. Hi. Ah, uh, don't worry, Ziggy. There's more than enough for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was an awesome basketball game, Dr. P. Toto did some great moves. We should have filmed it. Yeah. Shall I get some drinks for us, Bip? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dr. P. Hey, Toto, check out this new game I got on my tablet. It's the coolest game ever. Yay! Uh, hang on. I just need to put in my password number. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, uh I can't remember my password. Don't worry. I have all my passwords safely written on this piece of paper. <laughs> Ice cold drinks all round. Uh -oh. Whoa, looks like you need a towel to dry you off, Bip. Oh no, I can't read the last numbers. Can you remember what they were? No, but I remember that I used a pattern. No worries, Bip. We'll help you figure out the pattern you used. Pattern? A pattern is something that repeats itself, Toto. Oh. Can you help Bip figure out his password? Awesome. Looks like Bip is using a number pattern for his password. All we need to do is figure out what the last two numbers of the password are. <laughs> cool. Let's see if we can find the pattern in these numbers. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two. So the numbers are repeating themselves after every third number. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Do you know what comes after the two? Juice! <laughs> That's true, Toto. There is a lot of juice after number two, but we are looking for the next numbers in the pattern. Um, five, one. Let's try it out. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two... Five and one. Yes! We're in! Yay! Oh, cool. Thanks, Dr. P. I got some more juice. I'm just going to show Toto another game. It's really awesome. And it's about numbers, too. Um... Uh-oh, Bip. Looks like we've got to work out another number pattern. Okay. But what about another game of basketball Yay! first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Toto? C could you see who's at the door, please? <coughs> Bip! Bip! Hey there, Toto. Where's Dr. P? <coughs> Hey there, Dr. P. Do you guys want to go skateboarding at the playground today? Yay! Play! Play! I'd love to, Bip, but I'm not feeling well. <coughs> I'm going to have to stay inside and rest, so I can't take Toto to the playground. I'm sorry, Toto. <coughs> hey, Dr. P. Maybe I can bring Toto to the playground. Yay! I guess that would be all right. It's not that far to the playground. But you'll both be careful and, and look out for traffic, won't you? Sure thing, Dr. P. Huh? This is the way to the playground. 
First, you walk all the way down our street. Make sure you stay on the sidewalk because the road can be very busy with traffic. Then you'll have to wait for the traffic light to turn green so you can cross the road. Once you cross the road, you'll be at the playground. <laughs> you got all that, Bip? Bip? No worries, Dr. P. We'll be there in no time. See you later. Have fun, Toto. Bip, sidewalk, sidewalk. Nah, dude. We can go much faster on the road. <laughs> Bip. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry about that, Olette. Guess I should have stayed on the sidewalk like Dr. P said, huh? <laughs> no worries. I'll remember that. <laughs> all right, there's the crossing. We're almost at the park. Let's go, Toto. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? Red light. Oh, I see it now. Red light. Right. The light's red, and that means... Stop, stop. Hey, it's turned green. That means we can... Go! You're so smart, Toto. Awesome. We made it to the playground, Toto. Yeah! Huh? Toto, where are you going? The playground's over here! Huh? Aren't you supposed to be at the playground? Toto decided we should go to the supermarket instead. Fruit! Aw, thanks, guys. Play, play! Yeah, Toto! Let's play inside the house. Then we can keep you company, Dr. P. <laughs> play, play! Awesome! I'm feeling better already. <laughs> what a beautiful day to fly through the sky. Uh-oh, the wheel's broken. I'm going to crash. Who will save me? It's Super Turtle to the rescue. Super Turtle, you're awesome. You saved the day again. Oh, what's up, Dr. P? What are you guys doing? Oh, hi, Bip. We're playing. Toto here is Super Turtle. <gasps> he just stopped my plane from crashing. Did you say Super Turtle? Excellent. Guess what? I've got two tickets for the new Super Turtle movie. Do you want to go, Toto? Yay! Movie! Go, go, go! Oh, wait a minute, Toto! No! You can cycle to the movie theater, Toto, but you have to wear a helmet! Nuh uh! It's to keep you safe! Anyway, if you wear it, you'll really look like Super Turtle! Okay! How about you, Bip? Where's your helmet? Oh, I don't need one, Dr. P. I've got my cap on. Let's go, Toto. I, I mean, uh, Super Turtle. Super Turtle! <laughs> Have fun at the movies, guys. All right. It's race time, Super Turtle dude. First one at the movie theater wins. Bip, no helmet. Ah, uh, no worries. I'll count down from three, then we'll race. Bip, no helmet. Three, two, one, let's go! <laughs> Woohoo! This is awesome! <laughs> Uh, 
Has the movie started already? Oh. Help! Help! Bip! What happened? Oh, I had a bit of a wild ride, Dr. P. Oh, that's one big bump on your head there. Guess I should have had a helmet on, huh? <laughs> Luckily, Toto here was smart enough to call the emergency number. You really are a hero. <laughs> Super Toto. <sighs> Too bad we missed the movie, Toto. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, no worries. I brought a Super Turtle movie with me on my tablet. Yeah! <gasps> awesome! You guys are both my heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, Toto, the Panda City Shopping Mall. Shopping, yay! Toys! <laughs> We're not here to buy toys, Toto. We're here to buy Olette some flowers for her birthday. Ooh, Olette, flowers. We've got to go up to the third floor to get to the florist. Follow me, Toto. Thanks, June. Olette will love these beautiful flowers. Don't you think, Toto? Toto? Huh? Where could he be? Ooh, ooh. Dr. Panda? Hey! What's up, little Toto? Are you looking for Dr. Panda? <laughs> oh, no worries, Toto. I'll help you find Dr. P. Do you have his phone number? Huh? Cool, I'll give him a call. Toto, where are you? Toto! Hello, Bip? Hi, Dr. P. Toto lost you. I found him at the toy store. Oh, phew, thanks, Bip. I'm in the florists and was getting really worried. Cool. I'll come to we'll you. We'll come to you. Hey, Dr. P, there you are. I thought I was coming to you. No, I said I'd come to you. <laughs> Whoops. But where's Toto? Huh? Oh, he was here a minute ago. You know, Bip, if someone's lost, it's a good idea to tell that person to stay in the same place. Then they're easier to find. Oh, whoops again. I'm sorry, Dr. P. Ah, no worries, Bip. We'll find Toto. I'll look on the first floor, and you search the second floor. Phew! There you are, Toto. I'll call Dr. Panda. Hi, Dr. P. I found Toto. Yeah. He's on the second floor. I'll stay with him this time and wait for you. Awesome! I'll be right there. Oh, what are you watching, Toto? <laughs> this looks pretty funny. <laughs> Bip? Uh-oh. Toto's missing again. Oh, now where could he be? Dr. Panda, ground floor. Toto? Toto? Dr. Panda, ground floor. Oh, that's Toto. He's on the ground floor. Dr. Panda, ground floor. Toto! Yeah! You went to security guard Alette to call me through the mall speakers. How smart of you. Thanks for helping Toto, Alette. You deserve an early birthday present. These are for you. Ah! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hey there, Mimi! Are you taking the bus to your dance class today? Mimi? Mimi. <laughs> I don't think she can hear us, Toto. Hi there, Bip. <laughs> well, I'm afraid she hasn't noticed you, Bip. Beep, beep, go! Here we go! Off to Mimi's dance lesson! 
Awesome! Now we can all enjoy your music, Meime! Uh-huh! Yeah! It's nice to see you enjoying the music, but you need to pay attention to the road. Here we are! May Mei's dancing school! Don't! Don't! Whoa! Bip! Bip! Slow down! You totally missed May Mei stop! You weren't paying attention! You need to keep your eyes on the road, Bip! You better find somewhere you can turn around! Uh-oh! Your bus looks pretty stuck, Bip. How will you get May May to her dancing lesson now? No worries, Bip. I've got an idea. I'll go and ask Hooper for help. Hoopa! Hoopa! Wake up! Quick, Hoopa! You need to go and help Bip! His bus is stuck in a ditch just outside of town. Awesome! One of these will definitely help get Bip's bus out. Hmm, Hoopa can't decide which one to use. Can you help him decide which of these would be best to pull the bus out of the hole? Let's take a look. Should he use the forklift truck? Or the bulldozer? Or the tow truck? Or the limousine? So, should Hoopa use the forklift truck, the bulldozer, the tow truck, or the limo? Yep, you got it! The tow truck! Truck! Hoopa can use its hook and chain to pull the bus out of the ditch! No worries, Bip! Hoopa is on his way! Your bus is back on the road. But where did Mimi go? <laughs> Looks like Mimi prefers to take the limo instead of the bus. See you next time, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Hey there, Bip. I see you're driving the number eight bus today. That's your lucky number, isn't it? Whoa, Bip! That was a pretty big puddle of mud. Uh-oh, Bip! Your bus is so dirty that people don't want to get on it. You'd better get it cleaned up before your next stop. No worries, Bip! Head down to Hoopa's car wash and your bus will be cleaned up in no time. Yay! Car wash, car wash! Hi there, Hoopa! Bip needs to use your car wash to clean his bus. Oh, what's wrong, Hoopa? Can't you remember how to operate the car wash? No worries. Just check the instruction manual. Each button starts a different part of the car wash. The triangle starts the water. The square starts the soap. And the circle starts the brushes. All Hoopa needs to do is push the buttons in the right order. Then Bip's bus will be sparkling clean again. Can you help Hoopa remember the right order for the buttons? Let's go through it one more time. First, he needs to press the triangle. Then the square. Then the circle. And then the triangle again. First, we need water. So, which button do we need to press first? The triangle, square, or the circle? Triangle. That's right! Push it, Hoopa! Now we need to cover the bus in soap. We 
Which button does Hoopa need to press next? Square. That's right! Now we need to scrub off all the mud with the brushes. Okay, so which button was for the brushes? Circle. Push it, Hoopa! Hey, Bip, maybe you should close your wind... No. Oops. There's just one last button Hoopa needs to push mm -hmm. to finish cleaning Bip's butts. Do you remember which button Hoopa needs to press? Triangle. Uh, Bip, you might want to close that window now. The water is coming. Awesome job, Hoopa. You've made Bip's bus all clean again. But we might still have a huh? problem. Bip left the window open and, and all the water came inside. No worries, Bip. I'm sure Hoopa has a great machine to help you dry your bus. A hair dryer. Good thinking, Hoopa. <laughs> A bip? Aren't you driving the bus today? Uh, you are? Hmm, that's a pretty bad traffic jam. I guess no one's moving right now. <laughs> Looks like your chickens are tired of sitting in their seats, Moo. They want to play. can do to pass the time? We can play I Spy with My Little Eye. Yee-hee! I Spy! Hmm? I Spy with My Little Eye! It's a great game to play when you're stuck in traffic. Do you want to play I Spy with My Little Eye with us? Awesome! It's really easy to play. Let me show you. I say I spy with my little eye something with the color blue. And then you have to guess what that blue thing is. Sky! That's right, Toto. I was looking at the sky. Awesome. <laughs> Let's play. Okay, here we go. I spy with my little eye something red. Oh, That's right, Toto. That ball is red. Oops. <laughs> we're moving. Nope, we're stuck again. Moo. No worries, Moo. We can play another game of I Spy. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something green. <laughs> I'm spying something with my little eye very close to me. Toto! <laughs> yes, Toto! It's you! You're something green! Yay! <laughs> hey, look, guys! We're moving again! Uh-oh! Stuck again! Hey, where did Moo go? <laughs> Good thinking, Moo. Sometimes it's better to take a walk. <laughs> no worry, Ziggy. I know a game we can play. Yay, I spy, I spy. Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay. Hey there, Bip. Where are you off to today? Oh, I see. You're taking Leo home. Oh, that ice cream looks good, Leo. Huh? What's that? 
Uh-oh. The bus is almost out of fuel, Bip. You need to get to a gas station, fast! Oh no, it's too late! You're out of fuel, Bip! Too bad about your ice cream, Leo. But how will you get home now? What do you see, Bip? Looks like good news! It is good news! That's Richie's gas station, and it's just down the road! Hmm, do you think you can push the bus to the station? Let's cheer Bip and Leo on and shout, push! Ready, steady, push! Ha! Yes! You did it! Whoa! Whee! Oh, hey there, Richie. Can you fill up Bip's bus, please? Okay, it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Bip's bus needs 10 liters of fuel to fill it up. Can you help us count the numbers on the pump until it gets to 10? Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is the tank full already? Nope, the tank needs 10 liters to be full. Keep pumping, Richie. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, the tank is full. Now we just need to go inside and pay for the fuel. <laughs> okay, Richie, how much do we need to pay for the fuel? Great, we need to pay Richie eight panda dollars. Bip has a ten dollar note, but Bip only needs to pay Richie eight. So how many dollars does Richie need to give Bip back? Two. Wow, Toto, you're so smart. Because ten minus eight equals Two! Richie needs to give Bip two dollars back. Good job, guys! And now it's time to drive Leo home! <laughs> Guess you don't need to go home just yet, huh, Leo? Enjoy your ice creams, guys! Hi, Hoopa! Hi, Olette! Are you waiting for Bip's bus to arrive? Oh, what's the matter, Olette? Is the bus late? Hmm, where could Bip be? Bip! Bip! Wake up! Did you forget you're driving the bus today? Well, you'd better hurry up! Your passengers are waiting! Here comes the bus, guys! Bip's bus has room for eight people. Can you help Bip keep count of his passengers? Here we go. Hoopa's on board. That's one. And Olette makes two. Now Bip has two passengers. All right, on to the next stop, Bip. Here are some more passengers waiting to board the bus. Let's keep counting Bip's passengers. That makes three, four, five, and that's six. Now Bip has six passengers on his bus. So first we had two passengers on the bus. Then four more passengers came on board. And when you add two and four together, you get six. Let's get back on the road, Bip. Hmm, there's no one waiting to get on at this bus stop, but maybe someone needs to get off. Aha, this is Hoopa's stop. 
he's off to work. Okay, everyone, let's count how many passengers are left now Hoopa has gotten off the bus. There were six passengers on the bus, but one of them got off. Do you know how many people are still on board? Yep, that's right, five. Now there are five passengers on the bus. Great job. On to the next stop, Bip. There's Moo and her chickens. Hi, Moo. Are you taking the bus to the farmer's market? Uh-oh, Bip, there's a problem. There aren't enough seats for everyone. There's only room for eight passengers. Ah, looks like Bip has an idea. Awesome! Now Moo can go to the farmer's market with all of her chickens. Now Moo and her chickens are dropped off at the farmer's market. What's her next stop? Uh, Bip? Bip? Hmm, maybe wearing headphones when you're driving isn't a great idea. Ah, watch out, Bip! The traffic lights have turned red! Bip! Stop! <laughs> Whew, just in time! You almost drove through the red light! Maybe we should go over the traffic rules, Bip. Okay, let's look at the traffic light colors and go over what they mean. If the light is green, it means you can go. Green, go, vroom. When the light is yellow, it means attention. The light is about to change. Yellow. If the light is red, it means you have to stop. Red, stop. That's right, Toto. Now, can you help Bip remember what the traffic light colors mean? Watch out for the traffic lights and shout together with me. Stop when we see red, attention when we see yellow, and when we see green, we shout... Go! That's right! Go! So, what color is this traffic light? Green! Green! That's right, Toto! It's green! And green is for... Go! Go! Okay, everyone. If you see another traffic light, look at the color and shout with me. Stop, attention, or go! Now, what color is this traffic light? Red! That's right! Red! And red means... Stop! Well done! Whoa! What was that? Oh no, Ziggy! You didn't stop for the red light! You almost bumped into Moo and her chickens! Didn't you know the red light means... Stop! Okay, Bip. The traffic light has turned green. You can go, Bip. Let's see if we can spot more traffic lights. There's one! What color is that traffic light? Yellow! That's right! Yellow! And that means... Attention! Great job, Bip! Just in time for that zebra crossing! <laughs> we almost didn't see you there, Mr. Zebra! Awesome! Now you remember what all the lights mean perfectly! Where are you off to now? Oh, I get it! You're taking Richie to his chess club! Huh? This isn't the right stop for Richie's chess club! Why have you stopped in the middle of the road, Bip? Oh, I see! It's a traffic jam! All these cars are stuck in traffic! Richie's worried that he'll be late for his chess club! No 
worries, Richie. We're gonna find out what's blocking the traffic. Hmm, I wonder what it is. It looks like it's something yellow. Banana. <laughs> I don't think it's a banana, Toto. Oh, there's poor Moo. She's stuck in traffic, too. Don't worry, we'll get moving soon. <laughs> Hi, Olette. Some traffic jam, huh? <laughs> so that's what's causing this traffic jam. It's Hoopa's bulldozer. Looks like he fell asleep behind the wheel and stopped moving. Hoopa! Hey, Hoopa! Time to wake up! Pip needs something to wake up Hoopa so he can move his bulldozer. Can you help Pip decide what's the best way to wake Hoopa up? Okay, what could we use from the bus to wake him up? We could turn on the headlights? Or the window wipers? Ouch. Or the bus horn? Radio. Which one would be best for the job to wake Hoopa up? The headlights? The window wipers? The bus horn? Or the radio? Uh, beep beep. That's right, the horn. Here we go. On the count of three, let's shout toot toot. Can you do that? One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey there, Hoopa. You're blocking the road with your bulldozer. Could you move it, please? Oh, thanks, Hoopa. All right, the road is open again. Let's go, Bip. Good job, Bip! Richie made it on time for his chess club! So, Bip, what's your next stop? Oh, I see! You're taking Olette to her basketball game! So, you're going to the basketball field in Panda City Park! Whoa! What's going on, Bip? Are we there already? Oh no! The road ahead is being repaired! We can't reach the park this way! Good thinking, Bip! You're going to find a new route! Let's see now. Our bus is here. And the Panda City Park is over there. We can't take the street straight ahead. So, we need to find a new way to get to the park. Look, Bip, the map is showing you a new direction. Hmm, it looks like first you'll have to cross the bridge. Can you help Bip figure out which way to go? Okay, do we need to go left or right to cross the bridge? Yep, you got it. We need to go right. Section. Let's take a look on the map to see which way we need to go. Aha! Looks like we need to pass the Panda Beach Lighthouse next! Do we need to go left or right to pass the lighthouse? Yep, that's it! We need to turn left! The map says we'll have to cross the train tracks next. Okay, do we need to go left, right, or straight ahead to cross the train tracks? That's correct! We need to go straight ahead. Oh, hang on! There's a train coming. We'll have to wait until it passes. Let's wave at the passengers. <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> Let's go, Bip. We're nearly there! 
All we have to do is go through the tunnel and we'll be at the park. Here we go. Whoa, it's really dark. Better turn your lights on, Bip. Great job, Bip. You got Olette to the park on time for her game. Uh, Olette, didn't you forget something? You forgot your basketball. <laughs> Have a good game, Olette. Awesome. Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay. <laughs> your bus is empty. You must be almost done for today. Are you heading home? Only one more stop at the Panda City Fair, and it's time to head home. Whoa, there are a lot of passengers waiting to go home. <laughs> Come on, Bip, you can't quit yet. Just one more trip and then you can go home. I know what'll make this more fun, Bip. Music! Let's turn on that radio. All aboard Bip's bus, everyone. Time to get rolling. Here we go. Back on the road, a passenger load. My friends and faces and places I go. It's my bus. It's for all of us. Number one, go and have fun, goodbye. Yeah! Oh, we're back on the road, a passenger load. Driving through the country and the places I know. Stop number two, it's for you, goodbye. Bye! Riding through Panda City, oh, we sure look good to me. The people, they look so friendly. Now it's stop number three Feels like I'm almost home One more stop to go Oh no, oh no, oh no It's gone to E And that E means it's Empty Push and shove Phew What a long day it's been Move that bus Fill it up Right to the top, to the top. Hurrying up, going to the number four stop. Yeah. Oh, we're back on the road, a passenger load. My friends and faces and the places I go. It's my bus. It's for all of us. Stop number four. There are no more. Goodbye. It's been a long day, I'm parking my bus I won't complain or make a fuss But I'm going home, yeah, goodbye Whew. Wow, Bip, that sure was a long day You did a great job bringing everyone home safely, Bip But how are you going to get home? <laughs> awesome, Bip! Hi, Bip! Hi, May May! <laughs> wow! Awesome tricks, Bip! <laughs> oh, watch out, little squirrel! Whoa. Watch out, Bip! <laughs> Ouch! Bip! Are you okay? Uh-oh, it looks like Bip has hurt himself. No worries, Mimi. All you need to do is call Olette, and she'll come to the rescue. <laughs> Olette, Mimi's calling. There's an emergency. Bip has had an accident in the park. You need to get going right away. <sighs> Hurry, Olette. Oh, here's Olette to the rescue. It looks like Bip might have a broken bone. You'd better get him to the hospital, Olette. Don't 
worry, May May. You can visit Bip in hospital later. You better look after his skateboard for him, too. Did Bip need an x-ray to see what's wrong, Olette? Oh, I see. That x-ray shows Bip's leg before he fell over, and that one shows his leg now. Now all you have to do is figure out which bone is broken, and uh. then you can put a cast on it. Would you like us to help you spot the broken bone? Mm-hmm. No worries, Alette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. We'll help you. Can you help Alette see which bone Bip has broken? Awesome. Let's take a look. Okay, first, let's take a look at the x-ray of Bip's leg from before he fell over in the park. Uh, so the foot bone is connected to the leg bone, the leg bone's connected to the knee bone, and the knee bone is connected to the thigh bone. Huh? And here's the x-ray from after he fell over. Hmm. Can you spot the difference between the first x-ray and the second? You got it! Do you remember the name of this bone? Bip has broken his leg bone. Awesome! Bip's leg will mend quickly now that he's got a cast on it. Great job, Olette! Don't watch out, Mimi! We don't want another broken bone around here. Ah, oh, don't worry, Bip. Your leg will soon be mended. <gasps> wow, look at that! Now you've got the coolest cast in the hospital! <laughs> it doesn't look like a broken leg is going to slow Bip down. <laughs> hey there, Hoopa! Uh, Hoopa, don't you know it's race day? <gasps> You'd better hurry if you don't want to miss it. Here we go, guys! It's racing time! On your marks, are you ready? Get set! <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go! Let's go! Watch this dynamo! I'm a speed machine! Watch this engine go! Watching Bip win the race was awesome, wasn't it, Toto? Yay! Thanks for helping Hoopa build Bip's race car, guys. Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Today, we're visiting Bip's house. Bip, Bip. Let's go and see what Bip is up to today. Yay! Hey there, Bip. Have you got plans to go anywhere or see anyone today? Hmm, looks like Bip's pretty caught up in that game. Aren't you going to answer the door, Bip? Oh, it's Olette. Hi, Olette. I thought you'd be practicing for your basketball game tomorrow. Oh, I get it. You lent your basketball to Bip. Oh, look, it's already open. <laughs> Are you all right, Olette? Uh, Bip, Olette just had an accident because your house is so untidy. And how are you going to find her basketball in all this mess? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Olette? It's time for a big spring clean. Don't worry, Bip. We'll make it fun. Let's start with tidying away the toys in your living room. Can you help Bip find the toys that belong in his toy chest? Can you see his red racing car? Great! Now, can you spot the green dinosaur? Good job! Do you see the blue robot? Awesome! Now, can you spot the yellow tractor? Good job! 
Only one more toy to put away now. Can you find the purple princess? Great job, guys! Now all Bib's toys are tidied away! See, Bib? Tidying your house is like finding lost treasure! Awesome! Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> Hi, Olette! Have you found your basketball yet? Not to worry. If you and Bip keep cleaning up the house, it's sure to show up somewhere. Whoa there, Bip! That is one big garbage bag. Watch out! Uh-oh. Are you okay, Bip? You'd better pick up all that garbage before it blows away. <sighs> What's that, Olette? Oh, look! This shows you how to recycle all your trash. Awesome! So, paper goes in the blue bin, plastic goes in the yellow bin, and glass goes in the green bin. Hey, Bip! Time for a new game! Let's pick up your trash and figure out which bin it should go in. Can you help Bip remember which bin he should use? An old newspaper. Okay, let's see. Which bin does paper go in? That's right. The blue bin is the bin for paper. Let's see. What's this bottle made of? Is it plastic or glass? <laughs> That's definitely a plastic bottle. So, which bin does the plastic go into? Yep, you got it. The yellow bin is for plastic. Careful with that one, Bip. You don't want to play around with broken glass. It could be very sharp. Now, which bin was for glass? Yep, the green bin. That's the one for glass. Now all your garbage is in the right bins. Awesome job. Have you found a Let's Basketball yet? Hmm, have you checked the closet? Oh! Uh, Bip, I think it's time to do some laundry. That's right, Olette. You can't put all the dirty laundry together. You need to separate the white, the colors, and the dark clothes. Maybe you can help Bip separate his dirty laundry. So, the white clothes go in the basket on the left, the colors go in the basket in the middle, and the dark clothes go in the basket on the right. Is that shirt white, dark, or a color? Color! Color! That's right! It's a color! So, which basket should Bip put it in? It goes into the middle basket! Score! Yay! <laughs> Where does this go? It goes in the dark pile! Shoot for the basket on the right, Bip! Oh, hang on, Bip! Have you checked the pockets? Score! Wow! And where did these go? They go in the white pile. Aim for the basket on the left, Bip. Awesome! Now let's go wash the laundry. <laughs> Up you get, Bip. There's still lots of other things to clean while you wait for your laundry to dry. Have you had any luck finding your basketball yet, Olette? No worries, guys. If you keep cleaning up the house, it'll show up somewhere. So, you've got a mop and a bucket of hot water and soap. You're all set to clean the kitchen. Awesome teamwork, guys! Hmm, I think 
you're going to need something else to get rid of that mark. Aha! It looks like Bip has an idea! Ew! Those dirty dishes won't help clean your floor. Oh, I see. There is something behind all those dirty dishes. Can you guess what it is? Better throw that away. Hey, that's Moo's rubber ducky. She's been looking for that. I wonder what that is. Can you guess? Oh, I see. It's a sponge. That'll be perfect for getting rid of the mark on the floor. Wow, your floor is looking super shiny now, Bip. Olette can even see herself in it! <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute, Bip! You've still got those dirty dishes to do! Yay! Hi, Bip! Hi, Olette! Oh, what's the matter, Bip? Are you tired of cleaning up? Well, you can't quit yet! You guys still haven't found Olette's basketball! Don't worry, Bip! I know what'll make it fun! Music! Everyone, come on, we got some cleaning to do. <laughs> we got a job to be done. Let's make a start, number one. Sweep with the broom around the room. Clearing and cleaning is fun. We got a job to get through. Let's do it. Let's make a start, number two. Washing the floor. Hard work really paid off. It's too bad you didn't find your basketball, Olette. Never mind. Maybe it'll still turn up. Huh? Well, how about that? Your basketball wasn't in Bip's house after all. It was in your car the whole time. Stick around for more Toto Time episodes. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. Yay! <laughs>